My name is Jack Crawford. I'm CEO of Datalog.ai. Datalog AI, we're a one-year-old startup. We've built a platform for building chatbots and virtual assistants called MyPoly.ai. My name is Simon Gornick. Uh, my company is called Chatbot Copywriter. Chatbot Copywriter is basically a small consultancy dedicated to helping people create good conversational chatbots what I call humanized chatbots, because we believe that will help people engage with chatbots better and other interfaces and draw them deeper into various funnels and help people have a stronger marketing presence via their chatbots. I'm Liz Snower and I'm the co-founder and president of Converge. Converge is a company that is helping brands and retailers develop bots um, on messaging apps. Hello, my name is Murray Newlands. I'm the founder and CEO of Chatty People. We are a tool that enables anyone to build a chatbot for free. So my name is Gene, CEO and founder of Foxy. So Foxy is an AI-driven matchmaker for new friends to chat with, uh, which is available on uh, Facebook Messenger and Viber Messenger app now. So my name is Todd Terrazas and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Brainage. Brainage is a leading edge company, technology company based in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, we're building out market research tools. So far, I think that this event has been very interesting. I just sat on a panel with a handful of incredibly smart gentlemen, all of whom had very interesting perspectives on where we're at in the messaging space, in the artificial intelligence space, and um, in, the, in terms of chatbots and e-commerce in general. It's just been a phenomenal conference for me. To be able to come to LA, I live in the Bay Area, to meet a new group of people, to be able to talk about what's happening in chatbots right now, how they're developing and how they're shaping the business environment, the problems they're solving, as well as find real experts in fields that I didn't know so much about and I wasn't an expert in. So with having those expert panels informing me and educating me in a great way, as well as some phenomenal uh, networking opportunities in this beautiful environment. Uh, it's nice. I like uh, smaller events actually because you get to have more one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and that's exactly what we're doing with chatbots, right? Developing more one-to-one -one personalized engagements. So here's a great example of how to do that uh, in real life. I think it's great. We had a really wonderful uh, dialogue with a really varied panel coming from lots of different perspectives bringing us together into e-commerce on the chatbot scene and uh, it's a very lively conversation and with a lot of different viewpoints. We talked about AI, we talked about NLP, natural language processing. We talked about simple uh, chatbots and uh, a lot of different perspectives. And I think the sort of consensus of opinion is that right now things are pretty basic and straightforward and uh, that AI and NLP are not quite ready for prime time in the sort of chatbot space, but that over time they will be. And that um, there's a lot of discussion about handovers to humans. I'm personally, more interested in the e-commerce space and helping people make decisions about products and services than I am about handovers, but handovers are very important. Customer service is regarded as a really big part of the chatbot space. Um, and um, it, was, it was very interesting and illuminating. So today was great. Uh, I have met a lot of great people, uh, such as chatbot developer, uh, startup founder, even like you know, big company, they are building chatbot now. So I could uh, exchange insight together. That's how I built uh, my experience too. One of the things I really liked about today's event is the ability to meet people and have more uh, useful and longer conversations. That's not always possible in one of these events where you go where there are thousands of people. It, great new friends, uh, great interactions. In this event, there are a lot of uh, the different type of people. Uh, it could be a founder, it could be C-level executive, it could be like, you know, marketing, also like a you know, technology uh, professor and technical you know, conversation too. Everybody that I've met has been pretty much in the same boat as me in terms of being a founder or in terms of being you know, part of a company that, that I'm able to work with. So a lot of potential partnerships have emerged from this already. I feel like I'm being a, a mix of them all, like from consumers, people just interested in the space, to uh, other CEOs for sure, um, other people starting other startups, definitely a lot of other great, great startups here. Um, so a little mix of everything. Well, it's actually two things. One is the group of fellow founders, uh, people that are CEOs. The, the selection of presenters was amazing. Someone like Christopher Serdak, who's a well-known author, uh, brings great insights, was on the panel with me. 
So I not only was able to share my thoughts, I was able to listen to his and others like his. Today I met uh, uh, experts in the field of making phenomenal chatbots. Uh, people who've made chatbots that I've heard of, uh, but didn't know the makers of those chatbots. And being able to sit with them one on one and talk to them about why the chatbots were successful, the technology stacks they used, and really talk about the granular detail. I met the CEOs of companies who were interested in implementing chatbots. What were their business problems? What were the case studies that they were trying to uh, fulfill? And how was chatbots going to impact the future of their companies? As well as people from other fields, people from the dating field, which I didn't really know that much about on the industry side. I've been able to meet those dating people and actually have different types of conversations outside the norms of my conversation and my community. I met people working for digital agencies, applications, um, people helping people create backends for apps, uh, some chatbot people, some of whom I knew by name already, which is good. So some of the people who are leaders in the space, which are great. And I myself am sort of relatively small consultant, but I have a sort of specialization, which is the writing part of things. So uh, and there's not many of us writers out there. I kind of hope it stays that way. Sure selfish reasons but um, basically it was very wide and varied and I think this sort of chatbot space is very interesting growing there's some you know up and down in it mainly because of large platforms like Facebook and the decisions they made um, so we're sort of slightly at the beck and call of the big boys as per usual but um, it's going places You know, I met a great guy called Jin, uh, who runs a company called Foxy, and he was telling me about the work that they were doing to improve the conversations within chatbots and how that really was critically changing the uh, user behavior. For me, that was something that I knew, but having spoken to him, I know I need to double down on that for my business, and that's my takeaway from today's show. In today's event, I had a, like a two good conversation. Uh, one is that uh, I could uh, exchange the insight uh, with uh, the great folks, uh, such as like one of the girl, uh, she built a chapel for the the kick and uh, the huge corporation. That's like uh, I could uh, understand like how she approached the the company to build the chapel. And another one was uh, the more like a te technical uh, NLP, natural language recognition. Also the uh, IBM, the uh, like you know, how the deep learning and machine learning could be uh, useful for the chatbot. That's, uh, I learned a lot more than before today. Yes, uh, the idea I took was that vertical applications mean a lot to people, having a solution they can use right now. So that's uh, in line with our product direction and our future, but it's great to hear other people endorse it. Um, I think that conversations that, that come out of events like this always tend to spark ideas. I think that when you get a bunch of really smart people in the room like this, it's inevitable that you're going to walk away with a fresh perspective on how to move forward in your own business. Yes, I did. I met uh, some really good people I've just been talking to and was uh, talking about the fact that sometimes a smaller segment is actually better for networking, better for creating relationships, and I uh, totally agree with that. And, uh, you know, we can grow a little, but at the same time, we don't want it to get too big because if it gets too big, it gets too noisy, and if it gets too noisy, it's a little less useful. I mean, just learning about how other people are trying to tackle problems, uh, leveraging these conversational UIs, you know, chatbots. Especially uh, my friend Liz, who's working for Converge, and seeing what they're doing for like Sephora and other type of fashion brands to help uh, lead the customer down that right path. As like a personal assistant, trying to find you know the right product that fits their needs. Uh, because we're working with more consumer research, you know, products, understanding you know how people uh, use a product or how they perceive it. Um, it's always fascinating to find how other companies use the same tools we're using for their own means. Well, I don't want to jinx anything, but I hope to be getting deals done, sure. Two perspective meetings, uh, which hopefully will turn into deals uh, following this show, uh, both of which actually were companies which are not that far away from me, but I didn't know they existed. I didn't know them personally. I didn't know that those deals were available. And those are things that hopefully will come to fruition out of this show. You know, I didn't really come for that. I came to be helpful and to share and uh, enjoy the experience. So deals take time. So we'll see. Not here, yeah. Okay. Not yet. Uh, yeah, I, I actually like I could uh, meet up with uh, like potential partner, and then we did a great uh, brainstorming together, and then he gave me like you know great uh, way how we can 
maximize the company's and service variation more. And that's, uh, I hope we might be able to work together in the future. So the thing I got the like eye opener was actually like today's like a keynote speaker. Uh, he gave a presentation on how the uh, IBM they did uh, machine learning and deep learning to build the great AI. That's I knew it, but I was not sure how you know we could do something by the the new the technology that uh, we learn a lot and it's already like very structured and it's very dense information. That's uh, how I can build more idea by them. I have to say it was the dating part, you know, having that conference of those people there, some dropped in on our, our sessions and it's very insightful. I know there's a crossover between conversation in that realm and also in the general area that we are. About the speed networking, it was great and then, uh, yeah, I just, you know, just open up like what I did and then uh, I listened to like what they do and based on the uh, our conversation we just built up like a very like a strong and meaningful uh, conversation very quickly that's the best way to describe the speed uh, network too even like I could actually meet up with one of the Japanese uh, the huge company uh, they call the Daibas and that's uh, also one of the, the potential partners as well So this event's mostly, you know, I feel for CEOs, marketers, people that really want to understand how they can really um, have more one-on-one -on -one personalized um, engagements with their customers. And the best way to do that is within conversational UIs, you know, messaging apps where billions of people already are using them per month. So it's an easier way to get to your consumers. I would recommend this event to anybody who is eager to connect with other people in the messaging space, in the AI space, and also for those that don't really know anything about it and just want to learn. You know, I recommend it again to uh, businesses that are looking for specific practical use cases for conversational artificial intelligence. The keynote speaker was great from IBM. I think that the people that would come would hear insights they wouldn't normally hear at larger conferences. I'd recommend it to people who are interested in a dialogue about AI and LP chatbots. It's one of those areas where a lot of people have expressed an interest and it doesn't take long for a little bit of quote-unquote deep learning, not the same kind of deep learning that they're talking about in the NLP space, but just concentrating, focusing and understanding to become quite, quite the expert. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I'm a sort of autodidact myself and it didn't take too long before I kind of knew what I was talking about to the point where I wasn't making a complete idiot myself. I would recommend this event to industry experts as well as people who are uh, maybe more generally interested in the field of chatbots and how they can really be used to solve business issues. So I would uh, recommend this event to two types of people. One is like people uh, might be interested in learning a chat, the chatbot and another one is uh, like a, who is already like a professional expertise but who want to build a like, strong network for the future, that's I would recommend to them.